Hi I'm Hololina welcome and welcome back. Into today's video I will discuss facts about these beautiful and alien like substances cave pearls stay tuned. Cave pearl, small, almost spherical concretion of calcite that is formed in a pool of water in a cave and is not attached to the surface on which it forms. Occasionally saturated water drips into small pools with such vigor that a stalagmite cannot form. A bit of foreign matter may become coated with calcite, and slight movements of the water may keep the bit in motion while new layers of calcite are added. Concentric layers are added and polished in this way until the cave pearl becomes too large to remain in motion and becomes attached. Fun Fact Exposure to moving water polishes the surface of cave pearls, making them glossy, if exposed to the air, cave pearls can degrade and appear rough. Cave pearls are generally not considered to be a type of oolite. A cave pearl forms around a nucleus of matter. The nucleus of a cave pearl is typically very small, such as a grain of sand, but can be larger. Some nuclei are made of foreign matter, such as quartz sand, wood, bone, or even plastic, whereas others are made of calcified clay or limestone. Cave pearls are relatively common in caves but are typically present in low abundance. In Tabasco, Mexico, the Gruta de las Canicas meaning, Cave of the Marbles, is highly unusual in that it contains a tremendous quantity of pearls, an estimated 200 million pearls were discovered on the cave floor, in some areas to a depth of a meter or more. The mechanism for the formation of this vast quantity of pearls has not been determined. The Rookery, in Carlsbad Caverns, New Mexico, has so many cave pearls that they were at one time handed out to visitors as souvenirs. That's it for this presentation about cave pearls. Join me next time for another presentation. So long earthlings and don't forget to like and subscribe.